So I've been laid up for about a week because I have a bad back. And I've been taking it easy, but I spent so much time working on my uh, drag line bucket excavator to be mining. It was raining today and I kept looking out my window and I was dying to go out there, but my drag line bucket excavator weighs like over 80 pounds. Bob, how are you? Here inside my shop <laughs> is the drag line bucket excavator. Look at this. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't seen this yet, welcome. Go to my channel and check it out a little bit. But I've been dying to take this out to the mine site. I did work on the bucket uh, for those that are in the know of what's going on. Look at this. Now it is on the outside. I've changed the bucket. I have not tested it yet. I've been dying to test it out. Uh, and uh, I think because I have a full-size RC skid steer, the wife won't bust my ass for driving inside it when I have a bad back. So let's see if we can fire it up and then load this big bad boy in there. All right, radio for the crane, almost there. Radio for my big skid steer, good to go. There are some advantages to having a lot of RC stuff. So these joysticks are set up just like they would be in the cab. This is an emergency stop button right here. Here's my parking brake. I'm about to get a penalty for having my bucket too high. There we are. One-handed. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, on goes my radio. And then the battery for the receiver and the motors, but not the track motors. My track motors has a separate battery altogether. That's a 4003S on the track motors and then a 7003S for the entire crane. So, same on the stick, I'm just gonna back up the sit. oh, you guys can't see it, hold on a second. Okay, so lift. Beautiful and silent. And then the track motors. We're gonna put it right on the skid steer bucket. So, filming and driving while maintaining with a sore back. <laughs> Gold fever, baby. Gold You'd think holding a controller would be quite bad for your back, and yeah, it is. But compared to bouncing around inside the skids here, I'll take the uh, controller on the outside. Besides, cool. Can't take back pain laying down, except when the back pain makes you lay down. Anybody who's had real back pain knows what the frick I'm talking about. <sighs> Everything is blooming. So cool. Ah, oh, brambles. <laughs> 
Yeah, baby. Look at what it's turned into, guys. So pretty in here. Oh, just ready to be dredged. I know this uh, this bucket excavator, drag line excavator, I should say, is uh, boring for some to watch, that's for sure. I get that, but you know what? Having been the one that assembled it and figured it out, I'm totally thrilled with it. So I'm gonna start up the, uh, the sluice box, get a chair going and start practicing. Wow. I'm still spellbound by it. Let's go see how it works. All right, let's fire up the, uh, the pump here. Very nice. Fairly even flow. All right, it's not tipping. Okay, so if you've never seen a dragline bucket excavator, really, either at I until I wanted to learn how to build one, but really it works on a series of winches and a fulcrum point to dip this bucket into a deep channel of water to drag the bottom with a bottom winch and to pull dirt out. I'll try to give us uh, an example right now. So the boom is at the correct angle right now, anywhere between uh, 25 and 40 degrees, it seems to be, depending on what you're mining. Okay, so position myself here, and then really just let out that bottom winch to, to let out that bucket so I can drop it down. You see how it goes straight down? Now I'm lowering the winch as well at the top on the boom. And then as soon as I have enough there, I start to drag in on the bottom bucket. And that starts to drag it towards me, filling the bucket. You can see here I'm getting a very nice scoopful right up to the top. This is what I like to see. And now I'm going to start bringing the bucket up. Got a pretty decent bucket full there. And I'm going to swing it around so we can dump it in here. Doing everything one-handed here, that's all right. Woohoo! There's the bucket full. That's a nice full scoop. I'm still gonna let out the, uh, the winch line, like this, and then up, and then my side winch control, I'm gonna let it out. Oh, there it worked, 100%! Oh my God, we did it. Oh, trial and error. And the extra, the extra pain pays off, guys. Check out the, how that functions. Oh, so cool, dudes. Okay, so I can get it around again. That is a celebration for me right there. We got finally dirt in the box, legitimately. Oh, trial and error, trial and error, trial and error.
why don't I do this with a shovel if it's uh, if I'm just after the gold? And I gotta tell you, it's because the gold's gonna be there no matter what. I can use whatever machine at any time. And dude, this is dope. You can see as it washes through there, the big stones unfortunately get stuck. This is a sluice box mat that has a whole bunch of riffles. And what that is basically are, are bumps that create vortices uh, as the water rushes past it. I gotta get rid of these big rocks that have been accumulating. The vortices capture the, oh dang, the gold. Look at this, guys. Holy frick, look at this. <laughs> it's so twinkly. Oh. Look at that beauty. Look at it. Dudes. So that's the whole point, right? Dig, dig, dig for fun and get like a dollar worth of gold. <laughs> dig on, McDuff. Gonna put that little beauty right in the pan. Listen to that, hey, that's the difference of gold. You're gonna be like, that's pyrite, you guys. I have a gold tester and I know gold. And that's freaking gold. On to the bottom she goes. Scraping all day, scraping all night. It was raining today and I thought, frick it. Because I made this excavator waterproof. Oh, I didn't do that as a good bucket. Dang it. What a waste. I could be in the rain and it's not really a worry because before I couldn't process any dirt when it rained, right? Because how? It's got to go through the trommel and the screener and it's, it's not easy to load. But if you have a bucket, dragline excavator, very easy. There we go. Straight down and then down. Like I'm fishing for gold, baby. Here it is, in the sunlight. Yeah, baby. See, that is not pyrite. I have pyrite here. Here's pyrite. Right here. Okay. Very different. That is not gold. If you put them side by side, Look at that big chunk of gold I had up beside it where I always show people gold and pyrite side by side. And there's the two pieces I got today. Slick.